Hey guys, so uh, this is another Unity 5 tutorial and this is going to be showing you how to use the new third person controller because a few people have been asking me. Even though this is fairly self-explanatory and Unity have actually added some docs in there to sort of help you out with setting it up. So I've just got my normal scene here and if you import it in by going right clicking on your project panel, going import and then characters and you can just import that in, it'll be in your standard assets folder under characters and then third person character. Now there's a little document here which says third person character guidelines. It'll tell you how to set it up or how to replace the model if you need to. And it'll tell you that you might want to add a camera so it won't actually run away from the camera and you'll not be able to see where it's going. So initially it's really quite simple. All we've got is we've got two prefabs. We've got a prefab which is um, a version of the AI and it's got um, some nav mesh components on it. and I've not really tested this, so it might be um, quite good for using AI to work, um, do pathfinding and avoid some object collisions and things, but that's something for another time. But this is the normal third person controller, and it's got it's using the uh, Mechanim um, animation system. It's got a rigid body capsule collider, the scripts that it needs for its uh, third person character. So obviously, you could take this and use it for your own. All we want to do is we want to drag the character in. You'll notice that he actually looks quite small, so we might want to just scale him up a little bit. And that looks quite nice. He's got a nice capsule collider on, and he's not really got much going on. Um, you'll notice that from there, once we've just dragged it in, when we've got nothing, no other camera in the scene, we can press play. Nothing will happen. But so we'll need to add our own camera. So if we go game object, camera. So I want to be able to add a camera to our scene so we can see what's going on. You may have had a main camera in there. And what I'll do is I'll add the camera in so it sort of almost looks down at our character a little bit. Now, once we've positioned our camera, what we can see is that if we play the game, you'll notice that we can control the third person character, but we'll actually need to. Um, do something with the main camera now we've got a camera if it's a main camera that should be fine but if you've just had to create your own camera with a game object and like that we need to make sure that it is tagged main camera there or we'll have a problem with the control so now what we want to do is attach or parent that to the third person controller itself by just dragging it on and then you'll notice that when we as long as it's got the tag of main camera we can control the new third person controller and you can adjust all the settings that it's got so on the actual controller itself we can look at the turn speed we can look at the jump power so we can put that really high and we can reduce gravity maybe put gravity at 0.2 so say we were doing a sort of space spacey game look you can notice that you can go really high in the air before you drop down again so it's something quite cool like that. You can adjust all the uh, parameters depending on how quickly you want to move. So you could have it really high and make sure you make the animation um, adjust itself accordingly to the speed at which you can move. Now that was really fast and then it'll change animations accordingly to if it's on the ground or not. So really it's just a really simple, it's a really effective and uh, good little thing they've added but you can change the mesh in this if you're using the um, probably using the mechanism um, animation system but it's a really nice way to get yourself a, a functioning third person controller with without much hassle really so hopefully that's helped a few people out if you like the tutorials don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers